Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing and in today's video I want to show you the automations in Wix and how you can set up email sequences and a few other things in the automation section of your dashboard. So over here on the left hand side you have your automations and if you click into these automations you have a lot of different options. So I'm going to show you one that I created that is an email sequence. I'm going to show you some other ones that you could do um, when we just click the new automation button up here. So this one right here is my lead nurture flow uh, automation where I'm sending multiple emails. And if you look at this, you can see this is kind of a summary of the steps and uh, the different things that are going to happen based on my automation. So let me edit this and show you what it looks like. This is the updated automations builder in Wix and you might may or may not see this yet it took it uh, a while for this to show up in my account but it's here now but what happens is I have a trigger and so when I have these forms submitted um, then I have other actions that happen other steps so I've got this trigger here and then I have a delay so I'm having it wait one day and then send an email so then that's what's happening um, is this going to send an email, then it's going to wait another day, send an email, wait another day, send an email. So this is a five-step email sequence where someone comes in, they submit a form, and because they submitted one of my lead magnet forms, they're going to get a few emails from me. Um, so let me show you what this might look like if you're setting this up for yourself. So you just go to new automation and they have a lot of preset automations here that you can choose from based on the different apps that you're using. Um, so there's different sections in here where you could see maybe they already have what you need um, already here where you could just use a template that they have. Um, but if not, then you can start from scratch and then you're going to be jumped into this kind of editor here, this automation builder. And this looks a lot more like the standard uh, automation tools, marketing automation tools that you see online. What they had before was a little bit outdated and they've recently updated this which is nice. So uh, you have the different uh, apps over here that you can trigger. So let's just say um, when somebody submits a form, that's a really popular one, but you can see there's quite a few different things to choose from here. There's invoices, coupons, uh, contacts, there were some other ones at the beginning that have to do with bookings or a blog post. Um, so let's do the member submits a form or form submitted. And I'm just going to select any form for this. And then I would click a step here. And then I can choose an action, a delay, or a condition. So this would be like an if else logic, if then. Uh, delay is just like it sounds. It would be something like a time delay. So wait one day. Uh, if you wanted to have an action happen, uh, then you have a lot of different uh, options to choose from. So you could send an email. Uh, you could send an SMS. Um, you can create tasks, give them a coupon, um, add label to a contact. And there's some other integrations here. Like you can connect to Zapier. Um, you can have it connect to Google Sheets. So maybe if someone submits a form, then it's going to go in a Google Sheet automatically for you. Uh, um, so there's lots of different options here. Most often it's sending an email, and it might be something where you say, uh, you know, email submitted. So I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, a lot of this is a really common one that kind of comes by default, but you have this template in here that says, um, form got a submission right so you just select this and then when this form gets submitted then you would see that hey this is the actual email and then it dumped me into the email here I'm gonna go back to automations so I'm gonna trash this because I don't really need this to happen but just wanted to show you that there's ways you can build out these different automations with multi steps now so then I can add another step I could add a delay in here I could have it wait four hours and then send another email and but this time it could be an email maybe it's a thanks for getting in touch email and maybe I don't want that to send um, four hours after maybe I want that to send 10 minutes after this is something that's really important too if you're ever doing send an email you do have to select the email type I like to keep it as promotional 
and then something like form. There's actually one for visitor submits a form, so there's something already for uh, preset for that. And then you can also set the recipient. So this is the the email that triggered uh, the automation, but you could also add yourself to this email or another um, collaborator role or something else. So I've got this send an email here. I forgot to do form. I didn't hit apply, so let me just hit apply so it stops bugging me. And then wait for hours. So maybe I actually want this to be 10, uh, 10 minutes. And then apply. So then you can keep going down the different steps and you can have a lot of different automations happen. It can maybe be send an email, send an email, send an email, and then maybe the task is there's an action. Create a task for uh, this, this customer. So they can get uh, pretty complex or they can be really simple um, and there's some cool things you can do with automation. So I just wanted to show you uh, that the new automation builder is here and that you can do these uh, multi-step email sequences. I still don't think it's quite as powerful as some of the other marketing automation tools out there, but it is a step in the right direction. And you can kind of zoom in and zoom out on this. So you could have a really complex flow where you have conditions, uh, if this, then that, then you add a step here and add a step there. Um, and maybe there's a delay here and then a delay here, and then you could do another condition. So you can get these to be um, fairly complex depending on what you need to do. I haven't found the need for that yet in my business. I just have that simple five step email sequence that I just showed you. Um, so just wanted to show that it is possible to do more advanced automations now with this email uh, automations builder and uh, pretty cool to test it out and see what's out there. Sometimes I'm surprised to see what it can do when I go in to check, hey, can I automate this? Then I find that different things are there. So I'm gonna leave this and see if it, make sure it didn't save. It doesn't look like it saved, but you can see there's quite a bit of automations that I have set up. And uh, I'm always looking for ways to automate things that I can. And so this is something I'll I always, I always kind of explore more and more over time. So if you found this video helpful, again, to find this in your Wix website or Wix Studio website, they're both the same as in terms of this dashboard here. You just go to automations and then you would go to new automation. And then of course, once you have your automation saved and everything, you can uh, make it active or, or uh, deactivate it. You can edit it and it will give you stats too on last time it was triggered. Uh, and everything else. So if we look at this one here, let me find one that gets triggered a lot for me. Um, so we can see that this one was triggered 73 times, right? And the last time it was triggered was December 11th. And then you get some other information here. So pretty cool tool that um, sometimes people don't know exists, but you get this out of the box with Wix and it's a great way to automate your workflow. So I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next video.